hello welcome in this video i'm going to show you how you can configure and how you can create atp adapter connection in your integration so let's begin if you have not subscribed this channel yet please subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching so here we have to go to connection and just click on that create button so once you will click on that create button you have to search atp here you can see that oracle atp just select and go for next select so once well you are going to create atp connection you require wallet wallet for creating that connection so uh, before going to a start here you should have wallet you should have wallet password and the username and user password for that so let's get it started so i'm going to create that fox atp trigger and invoke zero one so here I am going to select this connection as a trigger and invoke. That's why I have given the name over here. You can use whatever name you want and just click on this create button. So here once you are going to create that uh, ATP transaction like ATP connection, you have to give the first service name. So for service name for wallet, wallet password, username and username password for the database, you can contact with your database administrator. They will provide you all these things. So here I have the database name. So database name is not required over here. So here we have service. So here I will select this service and I will put this service over here service name. And this will be a security will be as JDBC over SSL. And here I have to upload the wallet. So I already I have downloaded the wallet. So I will upload my wallet over here. So here you can see that I have downloaded this wallet. And you can see that wallet name is that wallet Fox Dev 1 ATP DB this is my database name okay so i will upload here i have to enter the wallet password so as i have noted down the wallet password over here so i will use this wallet password here and i have to enter the username or you can say the database username and password so my database user is atp user and the password is this one so all this information you will get from your db so for getting this this information you have to contact with db so right now you can see that this is created and now i will go for save so my atp connection is created now i can use this atp in our integration so i will create separate video for that so let me show you how you can configure this atp in your sql developer so for configuring this atp in your sql developer you have to do same thing so just you have to click on this create button so and here you have to give the name so suppose I am giving the name, I will give the name as DB name, right? So as I have created the same connection with here, you can see that. So I will give name one in last, right? Underscore two. And here in username, you can see that the username I have used file creating the adapter connection. So I will use same. Password will be same. And here, in connection type, I have to select that cloud wallet. So once you will select that cloud wallet, they will ask to enter configure file. Then they will ask to upload the wallet file. So you have to select the wallet over here. So here I will select wallet. And once you will select the wallet, this service type will automatically come here. So you can change this service type also, but I will use high service type. So click on this test. So once everything will be completed, you can see that test is success. And now you can save your password again test and you can click on save. So your database is created in SQL developer. You database is configured in SQL developer and now you can click on that connect. So in next video, I will show you how we can create integration by using this ATP connection. Thank you so much for watching.